COVID cases are on the rise, but what are physicians seeing and how can you protect yourself and your family? Dr. Paul Aiken is the Associate Medical Director of Pediatric Emergency Medicine at Kapiolani Medical Center for Women and Children. He's also the Division Chief of Pediatric Emergency Medicine at the University of Hawaii's Department of Pediatrics. Aloha, doctor. Thanks for coming in. Uh, are you seeing an uptick of cases at the emergency department? So thanks, Steve. Definitely seeing an uptick in cases, which is what we see you know, statewide, which mirrors what we're seeing on the mainland also. So our positivity rate and testing has gone up, um, particularly over the last you know, several weeks to a month. The good news is it's not putting kids in the hospital. You know, it's pretty rare that a child will, will require hospitalization for COVID. It's just going to be, you know, treatment, you know, controlling the fevers, things like that. Yeah. What are the symptoms and, and are they anywhere near as severe as what we saw a few years ago? So uh, gladly, they're not as severe as before. Um, the symptoms generally look like flu-like illness, you know, fever, cough, body aches, sore throat, headache. Sometimes in kids you can get GI symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. Uh, aside from testing, is, is there any way to generally tell if it's RSV, COVID, or, or the flu? So that's a great question. You know, a lot of the um, symptoms of flu and COVID are going to really mimic each other. One thing, so it's going to be hard to tell unless you test to distinguish between the two. One thing unique to COVID is you do uh, more likely to get a loss of uh, the sense of uh, taste or smell. Um, but without testing, it's hard to say which is which. Now, early tests is, is important because there are treatments for both of them that can be initiated if you catch it early. With RSV, the symptoms are usually less severe, lower fevers, more respiratory symptoms. Younger kids are a lot likely to, to have more wheezing and uh, illness like that. Yeah, it is the summer months. Kids are going to get together. Families are going to get together. Mm -hmm. How do we stay? How do we stay healthy? I mean, in general, it's like it was before. You know, vaccinate and mask. Um, parents should really look, make sure the kids are updated with boosters, especially going back into the, the fall with school. Um, masking, think about masking if you'd be at large crowds, indoor spaces, airlines. Um, the other thing is if you're feeling a little bit down, maybe test yourself before going to a family gathering to, to help prevent the spread. Yeah, just to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Egan, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for helping to make this a healthier Hawaii.